Welcome back, everyone, to episode 29 of Two Dudes Drinking. We are going to be joined again by our old pal, Riley. And much like last episode, we just want to give you the fair warning that we were having a real good time that night. We went to a hockey game, drank a little too much, and then attempted to podcast. But we got some pretty some pretty good comedy gold out of it. So uh, sit back and relax and enjoy uh, part two of our conversation with Riley. One, two, three, four, two dudes drinking. <laughs> Today's episode contains the wisdom of acupuncturist Riley Redford. Enjoy the program. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so then you were asking about us. What have you guys been doing? Pretty much this. Yeah. yeah How many episodes it. have you made it through? Uh, 28, 29. That's badass. Yeah. We're pushing on 30. Yeah. The first few suck. <laughs> in, in a good way. Yeah. It didn't if get they good until we suck started. something, what would they suck? A dick. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty. Heavy. I'd say the the last I don't know what ten are sucking a tit. <laughs> okay, well, sucking tits isn't bad. No, I think it's great. That's good. Yeah, we mean it in a good way. Are you yeah. talking about human tits though? <laughs> Doesn't yeah. does it matter? Okay, I'm just. We didn't sure. say teat. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> the best tits. I mean, I mean, they're, the they're slightly better than an ape tit. And the other two are about just hardcore sucking tits. <laughs> yeah, ape tit. <laughs> uh, me and Sean have actually been working on a couple projects. Yeah. Oh. Where's Turbo Goat at these days? Turbo Goat no writes one song about every two years. Yeah, oh, it's like Leg Bone. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, oh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, you <laughs> still waiting to hear what those sales are like? <laughs> Been waiting two years to hear what we've sold. <laughs> Last I checked, we we're up to like nineteen dollars. <laughs> I think we have to make fifty for a dispersal. Y'all in and you owe me fourteen day. bucks, by the way. I know, I know. All right. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah, I I know. I hadn't forgotten. I hadn't forgotten now. <laughs> well, get out there, Russ. Get on out, get out. Oh, no. <laughs> um, now, but, down uh, to business. Yeah, I need to look up and see how much money we've made, but I'm guessing no, not that. Not a lot. <laughs> not that other business. You motherfucker. Now you're giving me the business. Yeah, I'm going, I'm giving you the All business. All right, I'm guessing this is going to be a review of last episode. Yes, it is. Talk some smack about the Leonard Skinner. Uh, uh, Did it just you, hit hit the... Don't you dare. Everybody's... Go, what, what was that? Don't you dare talk smack about Leonard. Get him. Don't Get him. Don't you fucking do it. <laughs> I did. Sacrilicious motherfucker. <laughs> now, Not here's the fan. thing. What would you have to say? Everybody. Said I wasn't a fan. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> who we know. Hey, Tuesday's yeah. gone, man. Tuesday's With gone. The wind. Six other days. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, everybody who we know that listens to it. Came at me. Why the fuck's he saying this shit? You know, it's funny. Fucking ask him. Because everybody who we know who likes David Bowie came at me. Oh, did they really? A couple. <laughs> Sean's the one to talk shit about David Bowie, and they came at me. And I talk shit about Leonard Skinner, and they come at Sean. It's funny. They can never go after the right one. Hey, can I just What's say, wrong with your friend? Is, is it okay to have an opinion? <laughs> Not anymore. I guess. Not since, what, 2000? I don't know, but uh, I'm just not a fan of Leonard Skinner. Just saying. Dates are own. And it's okay that you're not a fan of David Bowie. <laughs> did you ever see the Flight of the Concords where he did the David Bowie? <laughs> <laughs> when he comes Bowie to first, Bowie. First, first he does the labyrinth, and then he comes back as the other Bowie. <laughs> I about lost it. <laughs> crop dusting. Oh, you made and for those who couldn't hear that, Sean just crop dusted right. He had to pee. <laughs> now I want to pee. pee. Oh. I'm sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> Bowie to Bowie. <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> it's day. Hey, you're not allowed Bowie. to laugh. You don't like David Bowie. <laughs> I think I can smell that. Your shadow. I thought it was a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Cat man. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about these. I'm Jesus sounds like a horn. <laughs> <laughs> what if that was his miracle? He's on a tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to heal you all. Hop up. He's John Lennon. <laughs> Yay. He must have had about 13 dollars. I am the... All <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have is a chain. <laughs> I am the light. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> um, Something bit me. All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what me and Sean have been up to. We have a secret project we're working on, but it's a secret, so we're not going to talk about it. It's a secret. Yep. Secret music-wise? Shut up. 
music. Maybe we're writing a movie. Maybe we're making some music. It doesn't matter. It's just fucking secret. All right. Or maybe we're just fucking. <laughs> maybe we just Other pledge people. Our love. <laughs> sure. Maybe we, love, maybe we love pledge. I don't know. <laughs> pledge? Like, Who doesn't pledge love is pledge? a damn good lube, <laughs> and it gives you a nice scented. lemon fresh smell. I'm just saying. <laughs> and that's why I like Leonard Skinner. Like lying on their back? <laughs> Getting plowed by a dude wearing lemon pledge. <laughs> I like to call it Leonard Skinner lemon. My, Leonard Skinner lemon. My farts smell like a lemon orchard. <laughs> and, and that's goddamn pleasant. I don't care who you are. It just sounds good. I mean, seriously, smell a butthole right now. Just give, give it a smell. That's a fart and burn Vaseline. I like to smell like just a seriously. <laughs> just lean up here and have a smell. After farting out three blind mice. <laughs> <laughs> After shooting out three blind mice, I just like the smell of And those, those mice, get scratched those up mice smell fucking lovely. <laughs> nice, soothing lemon pledge. <laughs> Not even flammable. <laughs> anyway, uh, it, it goes on. Where do you want to go from here? Uh, do you got a top five that does not have to do with shoving lemon pledge up my ass again? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> let's see, ones that don't take thought. Yeah. We could do Metallica songs. Metallica way. songs. Okay. Favorite Metallica songs. Cool just fucking throw them out. Favorite Metallica song, Enter the Sandman, hands down. Right. Really? Enter the Sandman. Why? Because it's sexy. I'm like laying awake at night waiting for them. <laughs> like you, you're waiting yeah. for snakes to come up. Enter me, your Sandman. <laughs> enter, <laughs> enter me. Oh, it's called Enter Me, Sandman. <laughs> no, yeah. It's, it's an old Irish tune. Enter me, Sandman. <laughs> I like to have that with a side of banger and mash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went to a bed one night and then he shut up there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Favorite Metallica songs? Yeah. I'd say top five. I that's like Garage Days. I like I like that, most that's of the stuff out there. Now I'll, well, I'll, use, I'll use that as one song. And second song. Well, here, ride the lightning. That's All a great song. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, we'll do albums then. <laughs> just whatever. Just since we love Metallica before we shit all over them at the end of this. Oh yeah. Uh, go ahead, Lumpy. Is that why uh, we don't have Roombas? <laughs> um, I'm gonna, gonna go uh, it just a, a little bit everywhere. cliche here. Uh, really like Fade to Black, dude. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. it's uh, front to back some really cool riffs that are goddamn memorable. Like mm. the bluegrass version was pretty badass too. I can't remember that. I can't remember who was well, doing dude, it. Dude, uh, shit. What was the name of that? No, it was Fade to Bluegrass. That's all I remember. Yeah. But I don't remember who the band was that mm. was doing it. But the, when they did uh, Fade to Black, it was pretty bad, badass. Wasn't, was it Iron Horse? I don't remember, man. Yeah, I think it I was Iron Horse. About. Um, Let us see. Uh, they, 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 two Guns and Roses. They did, they did a version of Patience that was pretty badass, too. <laughs> they just <laughs> forgot yeah. that whole end part where he goes, I want me I a little bit They didn't even have that in their shit. I wanted that. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I, I think I hate it when they do I that. I think Faded Black has some classic riffs. Oh um, yeah, and there's and they're simple. Like it's simple mm. shit, but it's just so like iconic. What yeah, was the instrumental song. song on Master of Puppets? Orion. Orion. That was that was gonna I be my like, number one. I like that. Oh, song, I love man. that one. I can listen to that. Then the bass solo in the middle. Oh, that, yeah, that's John, great. John, John, John. Oh hell, in the middle. There's one in the beginning too, and at the end. I'm gonna that's I'm gonna do the bass. Oh yeah, Cliff Burton. You guys do the guitars. Ready? I'm going to be a harmonica. Wow. 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 Uh, oh, that's a badass song. That's dude. That's well. I mean, Cliff Burton is all over that fucking track. Um, and also Kirk Hammett's. Uh, after the, don't get me wrong. It's, it's a cool riff and stuff. But obviously, everybody's favorite part, and that's the where it slows down and the bass yeah. part, and then the guitar over top. I really like Kirk Hammett's shit over top of that. But, oh yeah, it's great. Do, 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 do. It, just, yeah, there was a good mm. instrumental song on "Injustice for All." What was the one before uh, "Dyer's Eve" or whatever it is? Uh, the, right to live is to die. Yeah, to live is yeah. to die. That's a good song. Too. Oh yeah, I like that too. That's a good one. They always put. I liked when their old albums did that. That was pretty cool. Yeah, their nice. new instrumentals haven't. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, new album, yeah, albums I kind of like that new song that they have out. The da 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 da. I like that song. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. I do but, not. 
What? What is that a way to describe Metallica? It's not that bad. Well, you want what they used to have, but yeah, they're not exactly. going to ever fucking have it because well, it hasn't been that since Enter the Sandman. Well, we talked about it before. Like mm. we're talking about, like man, do we? We're sitting here talking about, oh, it's close to what they used to have, but it, it kind of gave me a new appreciation for when, like, not that I was a huge fan, but. Like, Until It Sleeps and shit like that, and Fuel, and, like, yeah, we made fun of those albums then, but now we're like, well, at least they were being something different. Yeah. And now that they're trying to recapture what they did in the Thrash days, where, and we hear it now, and we're just like, ah, it's kind of <laughs> If they want that, they need a singer and a drummer. And then sometimes I just want to slow things down and, like, throw some Clay Aiken on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Get your love on? <laughs> no, he means Metallica slow down, throw Clay Aiken on top of himself physically. <laughs> Because I'm Clay Aiken and we're going to have a good time. But, uh. uh, (laughs) It's lovely. (laughs) All right. right. Okay, was that your next one? You got another one? Uh, man, other than that, I don't know. I like, uh, yeah, I liked liked Garage Days a lot just because that was different. I liked. Ride the Lightning was pretty badass. And Orion, that was a good one. What else is there? Kill 'em All had, had good ones too. I like Motor Breath. That was always a oh, good yeah. song. That was a favorite song that's, of mine. That's my number one. Yeah, Motor Breath yeah. is a good song. What was another one on there? What was the bass of the Whiplash? The one that had the Whiplash? Rest. Like right oh, before the... Whiplash, they had the... Anesthesia? Anesthesia pulling teeth yeah. and then oh, Whiplash yeah. into... I think it was into Whiplash. That, I like that a lot, too. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. That was always mm-hmm. a favorite song. I was like a year old when those came out. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. I was... Uh, I don't think I was alive yet when that those albums came... Or the, were, when were not. Kill Em All came out. Because it was, it was 83, right? Yeah. So what? Summer 83? Yeah. I joined November. <laughs> so you came out around to ride the lightning? <laughs> yeah. 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 Poser. Fuck you. <laughs> sell out. Hey. I've been down since I bought fucking baby sell out. Anger. I've been down yeah, since metal up out. your ass. Yeah. I got none. That's what I was originally called now to change the name. Well, no shit. I know. <laughs> I had the t-shirt. Fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass did? Both. <laughs> All right. Um, I was some kind of less of a top five and more of a what are cool Metallica songs. <laughs> yeah. Remember when Metallica was cool? What was yeah. your most hated song? Oh, fuck. All of St. Anger. Yeah. St. Anger was a shitty album. Um, until it sleeps because it's caught in my fucking head now. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Like, I never listened to much of that stuff. Wrong, I didn't hear any of it. Until it sleeps is actually inherently not a terrible song a metallica song eh. yeah see like i said before that's my thing about the new album if, if any other band would have put it out there would have said this fucking sucks that's true but it, because it's metallica it's... lesson learned man don't go chasing waterfalls uh, I know. hey sean you just got to <laughs> stick to the rivers and lakes you're used to i know i don't want no scrub um, Scrub is the guy that can't get And no you love also from me. shouldn't be making any phony calls. <laughs> I shouldn't. Stick to the seven digit numbers you used to. Hey, <laughs> spam in the place where you live. <laughs> Not facing Ham north. and pork. <laughs> <laughs> Ham and pork. <laughs> we just transcended. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Didn't Weird Al do Inner Sandman in a polka? Yeah, he did. Exit line. Enter night. Take my hand. Off to Never Neverland. The Humpty Dance is your chance to do the hump. Do me, baby. Do the hump to hump. Do the hump to hump. She's another baby. Jerry Pie put a smile on your face. Ten miles wide. Looks so good, make a grown man cry. She Jerry Pie, yeah, yeah. Woo. Drum solo. I can't play drums. Did we mix two polkas? We might have. No, fuck it. Okay. I miss you much. Oh yeah. Yeah, we uh, eh, fuck it. You want to call this one? I mean, we're at hour fifteen. We pushed it another couple minutes. This is gonna be two episodes. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. We're, we're doing that. Cut that part out there. <laughs> no, I mean later in post. 
Because you're gonna have to turn now up his fucking look mic. Real spots. fucked up, Sean. No, I got that Nothing's new software. Look real fucked up with you. How you hate people and right. dogs. I do hate and people. Cats. I Other do hate dogs. Songs you like. I Sean, do hate but dogs, but not mice. I love mice <laughs> and turtles. Sean, another Metallica song. Go. Uh, <laughs> Sean died. <laughs> My head exploded. <laughs> Just the top, like the back. Uh, well, shit, you basically named off my three favorite albums right, 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 there. I, was like, oh, I like this whole album, and, uh, and this other whole album's pretty good, too. Um, I guess yeah. I like... Those uh, are my favorite songs. Motor, Breath. If they're um, all one song, yeah, I like those. That would be the greatest prefer, song uh, ever. I like Mechanics better than Four Horsemen. Uh, yeah, not really. Have you, ever, have you ever actually read the lyrics to Mechanics? Um, have you ever read a lot of lyrics to any Dave Mustaine lyrics? Who's Dave Mustaine? <laughs> He's got a mustache. He's uh, related to moose lambs. <laughs> <laughs> moose lambs? <laughs> Them some big fucking lambs. <laughs> you ever tried to Seriously, harvest a moose lamb? Is it moose stain? Uh, I thought it was mustain. Almost like mustang. But I must, thought it was mustain. Mus- like mustain. Why are you saying moo? <laughs> I thought that was his name. What are you, racist? <laughs> Moo, <laughs> Dave Moo. It, you know, like a cow shit. Moo stain. A moo stain. <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, what's that on your leg? Oh, it's a moo stain. <laughs> yeah, cow shit that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's not cum at all. No. It's <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh. Still in Metallica, so. Oh, yeah, fuck. Bingo, bingo. Uh, yeah, Four Horsemen's a great one. I think Mechanics is better musically, but those lyrics are so fucking stupid. Dave Mustaine is not known for you. What do you think about Shut the whiskey up. in the jar O compared to the original version? Bad. You don't like it? Bad. Well, you, like, you don't like the original version or the new one? Metallica about, version. You talk yeah. about the Thin Lizzy version? Yeah. Thin oh, Lizzy, I love yeah. Thin Lizzy version. I the think Thin Metallica Lizzy played is... at, the, at the place down here. Uh, uh, what's something? Cowboy. I don't know the guy did? Yeah. Uh, thin the Lizzy. One, well, right. Exactly. Are they like Thin Lizzy? It's like, like now we have two quote, members unquote, that Skinner. have lived yeah. through all of everything. Who, <laughs> and two of them knew Thin Lizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Lizzy. <laughs> Thick Lizzy. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah. I, I like the Metallica version. It wasn't bad, but yeah, it, not bad. But it, it could have could have been better. Uh, yeah, when they broke stuff in the video, I felt it really represented their anger. <laughs> and, and when that girl was Same wearing the anger. panties in the video, that really represented. Never mind. <laughs> Remember when people were pissed that Kirk Hammett cut his hair? They all cut their hair. Oh, I know, but like... Everybody shit a fucking chicken over it. And then remember, Kirk Hammett had long hair again, and they're like, oh, they're cool again. Yeah, no. And then we listened to the album, and we're like, not so much. No, he's still <laughs> not cool. <laughs> uh, fuck. Yes, fuck. But no, I, I think uh, one of the best tracks on there is actually that Merciful Fate medley they did. I don't remember it. Well, of course you wouldn't. Uh, why would I? I like Enter the Sandman. <laughs> Entering you. <laughs> it's called Spit on It, Sandman. <laughs> what is you and spitting on it tonight? It's just what you've tonight. done is unforgiving. You've said Sandman. it multiple times tonight. Dude, I've said that joke about a hundred times in the past six months. No, in that in the past six months was too fucking night. I do remember saying it about three to four times tonight. More than that. <laughs> I stand by it. You've drank more than I have. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I remember more than you do. I concede. Stop spitting on it. Spit on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where were we? Metallica songs. Oh, yeah. We've gotten through like but, two. Uh, <laughs> this is going nowhere. <laughs> um, yeah. And just rattle through I your got, favorites. I got something else if you want to get. Guys yeah, go sure. Ahead. Bring it up. Go, 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 go. Spit it out. Spit on it. Oh, spit on it. Here's a random thought I had the other day. Spit it out. I want to get your guys' opinion. Spitting on it? Lube or no lube? Is the Beatles coming together really about Bukaki? All right. Well, I mean, old think about flat it. top's coming. He's grooving up slowly. I mean, he does have juju eyeball. Good point. Toe jam football. It's toe jam football. Like, he is kind of dumb. One and one and one make three. But he's good looking. 
I think coming together means they all like each other and they all ejaculated. See, I was saying See, like, that, like, like an orgy. Well, it makes sense. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Here, Ringo, come on. See, let's come together. Maybe Flat Top's Ringo. Here, now. come on, Ringo, and we pretend he's another guitar player, <laughs> and we treat him like a normal person. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hey guys, why don't y'all just come on me? <laughs> Shut up, George. <laughs> no South. We let you have two or three songs. Can't you just be happy with that? <laughs> Can we go back to Hillbilly Beatles? <laughs> yes. <laughs> come together, man. <laughs> right now? Yeah. <laughs> on me. <laughs> come on. Hey man, old flat top's come on coming up, man. On me. <laughs> oh, come together on me. <laughs> <laughs> coo coo the Jew. I'm about to whoa, go whoa, into whoa. an octopus garden. You coo coo the Jew? <laughs> coo kill the Jew? What? That's what we did. Took a turn. <laughs> uh, Ringo's an anti Semite. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never claim not to be. <laughs> Look at me nose. It never, <laughs> it never happened. Hey, man. There's a goddamn octopus out in my garden. I think I might be tripping balls. <laughs> <laughs> we all live in the yellow submarine. That's the tax man. <laughs> hey, man, that goddamn tax man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, mm-hmm. I man, I'm cool, but I just don't want to be paying taxes for no goddamn minorities. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is hillbilly beetles, not not tutus drinking beetles. You know, we're just, it's stereotypes. Yeah. Yeah, stop making fun of white people. Yeah, we have a problem with that. <laughs> while, okay. while my guitar gently wipes people. <laughs> while my guitar gently wipes. <laughs> this is a segment we did a couple episodes ago. of uh, we just, It was Hillbilly just, Beatles. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> oh, and we also have do uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, I was just about to do one. <laughs> Sammy? <laughs> what, wait, what was it? What do you got? Uh, uh, basically, we put Samuel L. Jackson in other famous roles. Like uh, Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolates, motherfucker. <laughs> she died on a Tuesday, motherfucker. <laughs> or American History X. <laughs> Bite the motherfucking curb. <laughs> Be careful, Sean. Be careful. I know. Tread lightly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's why basically why I did it. The end <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Never ending story. Oh tax <laughs> <laughs> The horse died. Spoiler alert. Aww. <laughs> um. yep. I'm a motherfucking luck dragon. <laughs> I look like a goddamn dog. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> Just listening. Oh. Punch him in the jimmy. Name a movie. Name a movie. Name a movie. Uh, I, I can't think of any. Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee Kaye, motherfucker! That's the easy. This one. building's called Nakatomi. <laughs> <laughs> I got glass in my foot. <laughs> I should have worn a goddamn shoe. Hey, home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm over here, you big horses, motherfucker. <laughs> Home Alone 2. We forgot motherfucking Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> You're covered in bird shit. I just... <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> To just slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Ow. Oh, my stomach hurts. Uh. 
Toy Story. <laughs> We're all gonna die in an incinerator, motherfucker. <laughs> Where the motherfuck is Andy? <laughs> is this fucking hokey for real? <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Name a movie. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> nope. Move on. Another movie. <laughs> I gotta get rid of the stomach. Napoleon pain. Dynamite. <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I cooked you a delicious motherfucking bass. <laughs> Both from you, Pedro, motherfucker. <laughs> do you drink 1% because you a fat bitch? <laughs> because you are not, and you could drink two if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that is all. Ow. That hurt my head. <laughs> Samuel, if you're listening, your voice hurts our head. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Princess Bride. <laughs> Inconfuckinceivable! <laughs> Do you want a peanut? Do you want a peanut? Would you like a peanut? He's dead now. I dropped a peanut. <laughs> oh, oh, peanut on my foot. Can you imagine That's almost Zoidberg. Hey, hold on. Let's, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> Andre the Giant's dick. Wow. Yeah. I bet it was. Yep. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, it had um, to be. I mean, he ain't got shit on. I mean, Jonah Falcon ain't got shit on him. I'm guessing between Andre the Giant and Shrek, Shrek had a bigger cock. Well, he really was part ogre. Well, that's his benefit. That's why I think. Oh, ogre? You know, John, get Shrek, Shrek's dick out of your mouth. <laughs> Shrek is love. Get your penis Shrek is life. And I'm his motherfucking friend, Jesus. <laughs> Blazing saddles. <laughs> oh, no. The new shirt. Gong. <laughs> Gong show. He said the sheriff is near. <laughs> I love no, God, wait, wait. Continue, Sean. Willie Wonka? Wait. <laughs> if you want to view a motherfucking paradise, open your motherfucking eyes and do it. <laughs> It's a locavator. <laughs> it goes up. <laughs> it's an everlasting gobsopper, bitch. So pretend it's a dick and put it in your motherfucking mouth. Uh, we can do a whole episode on this. Do we do Silence of the Lambs? <laughs> What the fuck did multiple mix say to you in the next cell? <laughs> he wants to smell your what? <laughs> gotcha, motherfucker! <laughs> That's the best scene of that movie. <laughs> gotcha! He, he, I don't believe said, I locked that He said, much. I can smell your cut. <laughs> I, on the other hand, <laughs> cannot. I, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> we did do put the lotion on the skin. Oh, you broke my fucking basket, <laughs> bitch! Uh. <laughs> Punch him into Jimmy. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that's really your dick when we're listening. <laughs> it's funnier. Do it again. <laughs> Can't uh. reach it. Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Adrian, bitch! Jaws, Jaws. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger boat, motherfucker! <laughs> Smile, you bitch! <laughs> what else? What uh, else is there? Grumpy old man. <laughs> oh, You're a grumpy oh. old motherfucker! <laughs> That's all I got. Do us a favor! Put your lip over your head and swallow. <laughs> ah, that's all I can remember. I, I haven't seen that movie in years. Dennis the Menace. Uh, Starring Walter Matthau? I haven't seen it. I would go with something along the lines of, go fuck yourself, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> hey, Mr. Wilson, 
Fuck off! <laughs> oh, I, I ought to. <laughs> Get out of my yard. <laughs> Are you going to get Put shot, Dennis? Put in my pit. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, well, let's see what else we got. <laughs> All right. We're going to ramble on, see what else Sean has in his notey notes. Do you think the coyote doesn't... I don't think the coyote wants to eat the Roadrunner. Literally. Fuck. He wants to Yeah, fuck. I think he wants to fuck the Roadrunner. It's, it's more about the pleasure. chase. Yeah. Thoughts? Guilty pleasure. For sure. I mean... Squirt. <laughs> um, Sean just spattered the stool. That's okay. There's already been a naked man on that drum oh, stool. God. And his, and name, wasn't was, just and his me. name was Riley. <laughs> it wasn't me. Was that the one that Edifetus That was Edifetus. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> He's like, dude. I need to borrow your drum throne. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Weren't we all sitting there kind of like, is he a pants? Like, he's fucking naked. He his butthole is on it? my throne. <laughs> Didn't he start <laughs> out happening? like pig frilly panties or something I like that? So. I'd like to think there was I like so. a little children's drawing that was kind of brown. <laughs> 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 I I love those guys. I, I I'm so glad I came across that CD. Great fucking band. Oldie Defeatus. Yeah. Good times. I need to find Acoustic Apocalypse. I had that CD somewhere. Mm. Good CD. Yeah, and we good need. Stuff. You're right. We do need to track those fellows down. Oh yeah. Definitely. All right. Let's see. What was the question you asked? You asked a question before this. Uh-huh. You you said something right before this. Oh, yeah. It, the coyote was trying to fuck the roadrunner. Yes. Yeah. Not much of a conversation. We agree. Okay. Meet me. Um, <laughs> oh. How do you feel about Sybil Shepherd? Hot. She's 67. Is she really? Yep. Oh, sorry, Riley. This is a continuing theme we have on our show. Okay. Rank the Golden Girls. Oh. Oh, easy. Wait, oh, back up. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Save it. No, we'll get, hold on. I cannot. We do oh, have a. We, we like to talk about women over sixty mm-hmm. years old that we would do. Well, B. Arthur is one of them. Well, you she, need a shovel. She's dead. Well, I'm going to need two of them. <laughs> two shovels. Got Rue McClanahan. Because I got to go and hurry it up. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, so, Golden Girls. <laughs> golden Girls. Like two spoons when I eat cereal. Yeah. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Give me our scoops. <laughs> Rank them. Anyway. Rank the Golden Girls? Yep. Who is the oldest one? In real life or on the show? I don't remember either name. On the show, Sophia was the oldest one, but in real life, she was the youngest. Okay. I'd go ahead and blast I believe Betty she White was the first, first to go. Just knock that out just because. Mm. Why, my, why not? And then I'd go ahead and I'd uh, work my way up to uh, the Sophie. I like her. And then I'd, the, whatever the whore was on the show. Uh, Ru- uh, Ru- uh, no. Ruth? Ruth? Uh, What's her name? Her real name was Ruth McClanahan. Ruth. Right? Uh, fuck is her name on there? Why can none of us remember this? Oh, uh, sweet peace. Uh, yeah, sweet peace. <laughs> Rue McClanahan. Went. Blanche. 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 Like Devereux. my fries. Blanche Devereaux. <laughs> yeah. Blanche Devereaux. I put her third on the list. And then, uh, well, since I don't have two shovels, B. Arthur is fourth. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put the shovels next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get you an escalator. That's okay. Just yeah. do a couple more reps and squeeze them out. Yes. One hi ya ya two hi ya ya. You're going to blow out a no ring. <laughs> do it. <laughs> you shit your pants? <laughs> You'll find out. Call a plumber. All right. Can you think of any women over 60 besides the Golden Girls that you would do? Is our first lady over 60? No. No. Damn she it. looks it, but she's I not. I would. I would take her down. I would like. No, I think her. she's like 37 or some shit. Well, that's cool. <laughs> On the Trump train? <laughs> Let's see. Over 60. Man, I can't think of anybody. I mean, some examples. We've had uh, Goldie Hawn. Oh, yeah. Goldie Hawn. Uh, yeah, but Sigourney uh, Weaver. Uh, Sigourney, maybe. chick from uh, Back to the Future 3. I can't remember her name. Mary oh, uh, something. Mary Steenburgen. I don't remember her. Uh, Step Brothers. Oh yeah, yeah. Now when you see in real and in person, when you see her, she's fucked up. Don't ruin really, fantasy. yeah. She's not. She's not. No, I will ruin it. I will ruin go. it now. Yeah. I'll ruin it now with yeah, her. Yeah, now she's never going to do the show. <laughs> Damn it! We had a fucking pipeline, but she's gone. Oh, no. I got a pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Wieners, his, yeah. His Wieners dick. and buckles, ah, right? Yeah. Uh. Go together like Legos. <laughs> Peas and carrots. <laughs> she has one of those Lego buttholes. <laughs> and they can also fit peas and carrots. 
Anyway. Uh. <laughs> or it's just a radio. Whoa, spit on it. <laughs> it's a funny joke. So who's over 60 that you guys would do? Who is it? We just told Oh, you. there's a lot of them. It's not Goldie Hawn. You guys mentioned some names, but who would well, you personally want? Who's your trophy? We're not... Pers- oh, like, oh, who's your personal want? trophy over 60? Who's your cougar? Oh, oh, who's your cougar? It's probably Sigourney Weaver. Linda Carter. Linda oh, Carter. Oh, Wonder Woman? Mm-hmm. Linda- oh, yeah, the original Wonder Woman, yeah. Yes. Still looks good. Over 60. I can't Man. wait for the new Super Troopers. Is she going to be in it? As far as I know. No fucking way. Mm. Man, Wonder Woman or Sigourney Weaver? That's a tough one for me. Oh, uh, that is dope. I'd take Wonder Woman. Give me because a Wonder Woman will beat the shit out yeah, of Sigourney I'll, I'll take, Weaver. Yeah, Linda Carter. Okay, so okay. Well, well, out yeah. of the second part, we all like Linda Carter. Now who gets first? Well, I, uh, me. No. I, I, I don't I, like this I, already. I, well, I said this it first. Is, I don't care. This is not I a touched my nose first. So. Yeah, good for I you. I didn't touch my nose, so that's why I did is, is, it, is, is it invisible? Her vagina, then my You'd be nose. over there touching your nose and jacking off. <laughs> Counts. I'm going to go like this. <laughs> there was this guy I thought Captain. it was a rope. It was a lasso of truth. His name was Captain Melvin, <laughs> Captain Melvin Sterling. We were in Austin, Texas. There's Captain Melvin! Captain Melvin. He was like this uh, seven-foot-tall black dude. He was awesome. He worked at Whole Foods. He fucking said the funniest shit on the planet. Like, uh-huh. I couldn't even believe the shit he would say. So he was joking around one day. He goes... Oh, hey, Riley, man, you know how you tell your bitch if a bitch got something? I'm just like, how's that, Captain Melvin? He's like, you stick your finger in your ear, your pinky, and then you put it in her. If she screams, bitch got something. (laughs) 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 This is also coming from the mouth of the guy that goes, it's like walking into a lion's den with pork chop shoes, Riley. You just don't do that. (laughs) It's like, that's fucking great. (laughs) I was like, that's the best thing I think I've ever heard. (laughs) Then he actually gave me steaks after that. This is even cooler. (laughs) Did it have laces? (laughs) You can walk over that. (laughs) He set you up for a trap. Yeah, Kevin (laughs) Nolan was a a trap. It's a twab. (laughs) So, (laughs) hold on. I want to hear more quotes from this guy. No, that's the two. That's the two best I got. Ah, Those two right there, like walking Um, into a lion's day with pork chop shoes. So Bugs Bunny dressed up as a woman. Not. Yeah. No, I can't do it. Well, but you don't know. I want to know, but then I know that it's not. You don't know. No, I don't want to know that it's not. Does that make sense? All that inky goodness. All that, mm. all that bunny, <laughs> all that fluffy bunny. I love fluffy bunny. What about you, Sean? Bugs Bunny dressed as a lady. Oh, well, I mean, it's really tricky because Elmer Fudd dresses a woman too. Because you're into bestiality, but you're want you want to cross the line, and you're, you <laughs> I just do don't want to say it. I do that on bye week. <laughs> <laughs> bye week. <laughs> That's on my bye week. Wants. Yeah. <laughs> Luke has bye weeks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you gotta keep yourself fresh. You know? <laughs> so I got a mysterious subscription to a Men's Health magazine. Okay. First thing you did was prostate exam. Exam. I know. Well, yeah. Know. So is it like Cosmo, where it's like, ladies, here's how to check? But I, it's like I don't boys. read it, but it just started showing up to my house one day with my fucking name on it. I can't figure it out. Marlena! That's what I'm thinking. I, <laughs> she's trying to send you a hint. Yeah. Start checking your prostate. <laughs> hey, how about right now, live, on air? You want me to turn myself into a Muppet? <laughs> <laughs> For your help. Hey. Yay! Muppet yourself. <laughs> Go Muppet yourself, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> See? Just put it on it. <laughs> Mr. Ed needed peanut butter. I just need this. <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. That's a good story, Sean. I'm glad. Oh, yeah. Help, yes. Well, I got a mystery subscription of men's help. That's, that's all. That's pretty much Please it. Do I do not continue. Goodbye. I have no follow up. I have, Goodbye. I have no reason to, to carry on talking about that's it because. Well, you I should just, have read an article. Fuck like, that. Like, all these guys who look a hell of a lot better than me. So it just makes you feel bad about yourself. Yep, and then I just. Go eat a pint of ice cream and smoke. No, 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 no. Do you have a little like clamp on your spoon that holds the smoke? <laughs> it's fucking genius. I'm an idea, man. <laughs> Goddamn million dollars Trademark. right there, man. <laughs>
That's funny stuff. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> You'll never know. Um, anything else you got on that little uh, talkie box there? Well, uh, Brian sent me this picture the other day. Cool, a picture, something that works great in audio. Hold format. on, butt fucker. <laughs> Calm down. All right, I'm calm. Usa. It says, one will protect you. The other eight will try to kill you. Choose wisely. What is it? It has the Terminator. Okay. The Predator. Okay. Batman. Okay. Wolverine. Okay. Hellboy. Okay. Judge Dredd. Okay. Darth Vader. Okay. Uh, Judge Judy. I don't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know his name, but he's the uh, Mickey Rourke's character in Sin City. Okay. And RoboCop. One protects you, the other kill you. The other try to kill you, yes. Oh, the robot. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm 100% sure. AI, buddy. AI intelligence. I'm um, based on... I want him to make me a hamburger when he's done. Just just based on the, <laughs> the uh, myth of mythos of it all, I'm going to go Batman. I'm not saying it's logical. I'm just saying <laughs> as far as comic books go, he always finds a way. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure he... See, he's all rich and billionaire so he's probably got a back-end code to fix oh, all Oh, he's got a back-end code, all right. Mm, yeah, you know. And then the aliens, he'd just punch them. See, what sucks is they they left out two of the best characters ever, though. Deadpool. And fucking Ash. Okay, you're getting off the subject here. I know. It, but I mean, I'm just pissed that Ash wasn't on there. You're doing a classic... Answer avoidance, changing the subject. You're not actually answering the question. Uh, probably Wolverine. Thank you for answering the question. Mm-hmm. So, what would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand would up? Would you stand and walk up and walk out on me? <laughs> would you stand up and get my slurpee? <laughs> Let me a squishy. <laughs> I'll sing you a tune and I'll bring you my mop. <laughs> and I'll try not to make the vindaloo too hot. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to get help from, from Sanjay. <laughs> oh, you are Johnny, just my Sanjay. <laughs> anyway, what? Uh, there's our racial quota for the day. Yeah. Um, Phil. <laughs> Boy, this second episode is going to be all over the fucking place. <laughs> Still not our worst. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um,. It's so uncomfortable. Yes, I sit on it four to five minutes at a time. I hate it. (laughs) Mostly with my balls. (laughs) Sometimes I've sat on my balls. I sit on them sometimes. That's cool. Yeah, no, that little lip right there in the front, it's not good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a ball squasher. So, who did you say? Ball squasher. No, uh, out of that list. (laughs) Terminator? No, Robocop. Oh, Robocop? That's not AI. He's half AI. He's got a human brain, bro. Yeah, barely. He's, and he's programmed. Kind of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. He likes wine. Next. <laughs> he likes wine. <laughs> uh, Oil, whatever. I don't know. It's your fucking turn. What if C A T really spelled dog? You're kidding again, have you? It's from Revenge of the Nerd 2. Oh, is it? Yep. I don't know. Ogre says when they were trapped on the island. Makes sense. But seriously, answer the question, what if? Well, then we wouldn't know, would we? Heavy. Mm -hmm. Heavy stuff. That's fucking deep. You're almost walking the razor's edge on this one. Balls deep. Yeah! (laughs) This is the... Painkiller. Pain killer. The ants. Ants. I'll give myself a headache if I keep going. <laughs> oh, there. I saw the dude from uh, Living Color singing that song. That dude's fucking good. Painkiller? Yeah. Living Color was a band that did not get the credit they deserved. No, I agree. But, when, 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 but the show when. In Living Color did. <laughs> so you can makes do sense. what you want to do. <laughs> handyman in living color. color. Handyman, <laughs> handyman. Yo, mama's fat jokes. <laughs> That's the only reason we watched it when I was ten. Mm. Well, what about Fire Marshal Bill? Oh, he was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the uh, 
the muscular chick. Oh, dude, that was creepy as shit. You know how many uncomfortable boners I had because of that? How many, how many times did you jerk it to Jim Carrey? You know how uncomfortable I am sitting next to you knowing that? <laughs> well, there ain't no place I'd rather be sitting next to you sitting and later next to me. Tonight, both still going to go jerk it to Jim Carrey in a string bikini. <laughs> Hi. Liar, liar. <laughs> oh, have you been keeping up on The Walking Dead? The, the show? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do I have something to show you? You can pause I'm, this if you want. I'm frightened. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna describe what's going on. Sean's playing on his phone. Playing on his phone. <laughs> playing on his phone. He's fingering yeah. his phone. Playing on his phone. Still he's playing on his phone. It. <laughs> and he he gave a picture of the chick from the junkyard people <laughs> with Jim Carrey's face. Uh superimposed. That was sent to me face. by uh, my brother Brian. Uh, thank you, Brian. Um, Thanks, hope, B-Rye. I hope you're enjoying the the, the podcast. Uh, B-Rye drove this Chevy to the levee, but my levee was Brian. Thank you for that, Brian. Thank you, Brian. And uh, thank you, world. Thank you very much. Brian, do you have salty balls? <laughs> do you have anyway. chocolate salty balls? Hey, every now and then when you're driving, you just need to spit on it. Okay, your turn for contact. Do you like to spit on balls, Brian? Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> that kiss made it the worst. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, your family's yeah. awesome, dude. This guy's hilarious. <laughs> Riley, got any subjects you'd like Would to you cover? Like <laughs> Would you like a peanut? Would you like a peanut? I think uh, you don't want the peanut. I'm dead. <laughs> oh. I do not have any subjects. Large I can't think of anything. <laughs> not just a heart. The dude was this humongous period. Yeah, the humongous you know how period. hard his heart had to work <laughs> to push that through his body? Because he had so much love to give. And a huge no, body. No, it's because he's... <laughs> I imagine... Fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you say? He's a giant fuck, that's it. Oh, <laughs> that's why. Or is he a fuck giant? <laughs> oh, be. yeah. I, I like to imagine this that. giant dude with this tiny dick. <laughs> like an average <laughs> size dick. <laughs> Would you hey, like Sean. to see a peanut? <laughs> 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 he beat you to it? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of one of the jokes the Billy Crystal character did. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. Pointing down at his crotch. Yeah. Well. Yep. Oh. Yep. You know that sucker was like two feet long. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> like four or five inches around. Yeah, big around is my bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I think would it's you, a bicycle. Would you like to see my pop can? <laughs> <laughs> Or was it like a pop can, but like an inch long? <laughs> it's the pop can that somebody stepped on. <laughs> the crushed can. Uh, <laughs> he stepped on his own dick. Childhood accident. <laughs> I crushed my penis. Really? I had a movie, but I can't, can't think of it now. Hour 48. Jesus. This could definitely split into two episodes. This had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Super Jesus. Being not real at all. <laughs> you a side of I'm a side of I did not mean to smack you so hard. <laughs> oh, I touch you in the bow sack. Oh, what's your wrong with your bow sack, Jimmy? Anyway, you take that away from me. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Man, uh, I'm going to ram these two penises together. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that what happens when you fart butt to butt? <laughs> this is exactly did what we, happens. Did we crack the code? Did we solve the mystery? Of butt to butt? Yeah. Was that our first episode? Yeah, that was. You had a mystery to solve? We talked about farting butt to butt. <laughs> oh, that causes implosion. Somebody's going to die. It's science. <laughs> it makes sense. It's science. <laughs> I'm thinking like, science. A, like a Scooby butt kiss. <laughs> Scooby? Like, but I'm not saying like you fart at the same time. I mean, that could be one thing. What if you fart like into one fart and then do you fart the fart back out? Isn't there a movie like that where it's uh, 
Asked Mal. Oh, honey, I shrunk the kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, close. <laughs> it's uh, centipede. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's just like that. It's just like that movie though. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Rick Moranis is so people together. <laughs> kids, line up. <laughs> I'm gonna shrink your asses. <laughs> Suck his butt hole, do it. <laughs> Good luck with the scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, well, I was going to make a joke about eating the scorpion, but it gave him the runs. <laughs> no, I yeah. Uh. Where the fuck the kids go? <laughs> scorpion is a delicacy. I shrunk the motherfucking kids. <laughs> fuck. The <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch. Uh, this is where we get tired. We peter out. Yeah, um, well, right. we've had a couple second wins, so it's going pretty good. Uh, yeah, I don't have very many more. Yeah, what? I mean, I'm, I'm saying I think we're about done. Yeah, Wrap it up. Yeah. All right, that will do it for our two part episode, where we talk to our uh, our pal Riley, Doctor Rileyo. Um, so uh, thank you all for listening. Thank you for putting up with our. Uh, inebriated state. Uh, that's what happens when you take us to hockey games and we drink more and then try to podcast. So lesson learned, but I hope you still enjoyed our, our, our silliness. Um, so, uh, uh thank you all for listening. Uh, be sure to tune in, uh, again, uh, and, uh, penis be the Robin, I guess. Yes. Penis be the Robin. <laughs>